we're touring through the campus of Fisk University. I'm Nicole Aaron and I'll be your tour guide. Let's check it out. Just a short drive from Fisk University is downtown Nashville where there's food, entertainment, and even a little line dancing. But if you're a Tennessee Titans fan, the stadium's just across the river. Fisk sits on 40 acres within the city. Its buildings feature a mixture of historic and unique architectural structures. Although there is no specific religious affiliation, the campus does have a chapel which students are welcome to attend. Fisk is home to one of the finest art collections in the U.S. with works from Picasso, Stieglitz, and Aaron Douglas. Douglas, who founded the art department at Fisk University, is one of the foremost artists of the Harlem Renaissance, and he painted the murals right behind me. The university enrolls about 700 students coming from all across the country and the Caribbean. There is no typical Fisk student. Um, our student body right now comes from 42 states and 10 countries. Students looking to enroll at Fisk must score at least a 21 on the ACT and hold a B average on their college prep work. As a private institution, Fisk students all pay the same amount to attend. In total for tuition, fees, room, and board, the cost is around $27,000 for undergraduate students, making it a 100 best college buys the past 10 years according to Money Magazine. Some of the most popular programs and some of the most distinctive programs at Fisk um, include our programs in the sciences. We have an early entrance program to medical school that we do with Meharry Medical College. It allows students to finish the bachelor's degree in three years and go on to medical school or dental school with Meharry Medical College. We have a dual degree engineering program that we do with Vanderbilt University and with Case Western Reserve University out of Ohio. In fact, the university ranks as a top 50 baccalaureate institution when it comes to producing African American American science and engineering doctoral degree recipients. You will learn and you will grow and I think that Fisk has molded me into just a critical thinker and a scholar and an intellectual and someone that I feel like I will be pushed into the world to be able to globally compete with other students from all over the world. Fisk University has about 70 full-time faculty members with a low student to faculty ratio of 12 to 1, making it easy for students to have a close relationship with their teachers. The music faculty, they're great. We can talk to them outside of class if we need them. They'll help us with uh, things that aren't necessarily class-centered. And so that works very well with us. Fisk University is, is a Division III athletic participant. Uh, we're members of the NAIA conference and currently we uh, host three sports teams, basketball for men and women and softball for women. Fisk University has three residence halls, two for women and one for men. With a communal living space, there's plenty of opportunities for students to have game night or even pajama fashion show. Hmm, maybe this will work. The experiences you have in the dorm are just uh, invaluable, like you can't get them anywhere else. There's so many things that happen late at night, just those bonding experiences going from room to room, and I think those are really good experiences. And any student that comes here can expect just a very tight, close-knit family atmosphere. There are more than 50 student organizations on Fisk's campus, ranging from Greek life to the world-renowned Jubilee Singers. It is the trip of the Jubilee Singers in the late 1860s and early 1870s that really sort of cemented the foundation for the modern Fisk University. They traveled all around the world uh, singing the Negro spiritual, and as a result, we're able to raise enough money for us to purchase the 42 acres that we currently exist on, as well as pay for the construction of Jubilee Hall, which was recognized uh, upon its completion completion as the first building, first permanent building built in the South specifically for the higher education of African Americans. I've been able to tour Ghana, West Africa and Spain with the Jubilee Singers and the most important thing that we've done since I've been in the group is going to Ghana. We um, returned the slave songs to their home and we actually did a performance in a slave castle. Bill Clinton. Um, different people that I've been able to meet, President Bush, um, Colin Powell, these people highly respect, highly respect the Jubilee Singers. And that's amazing to me because again, I'm like, I, you know, I'm this, this little, you know, from, from Columbus, Ohio, this little kid, you know, trying to go to school, trying to make something. And yet now I have such a huge history. It's also a part of me. So it's amazing to see the impact that we have on um, various people. The Jubilee Singers did some work with um, Johnny Lang and he, you know, they recorded a song and that song actually was nominated for a Grammy. 
And so that was interesting. We went through that. We, you know, found out that we got the nomination. We, they had the Grammys, the Recording Academy of Nashville, you know, threw on a, um, basically a party for the Nashville nominees and just an awesome experience. Awesome experience to be a part of that. So if you want to make your mark on a university filled with dozens of historic events and people, then sing the praises of Fisk and enroll today. Thanks for joining me on our tour here at Fisk University. I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. I'll see you later.